the mood here has been been unbelievable. We have uh, a lot of veterans on our team, but also seven guys experiencing their, their first games. The Beijing 2022 Paralympic Winter Games are underway. Team Canada's para ice hockey captain Tyler McGregor back for his third games and has won bronze and silver and is hoping to snag gold this year. He sends it across. There's McGregor. What a shot with the left hand. McGregor makes it 6-0. Because of the pandemic, the majority of the tournaments he would have participated in leading up to the games have been canceled. But during that time, he worked on another part of his performance, the mental game. As frustrating as the past two years have been and the lack of competition and, and the lack of you know, real challenge um, as it relates to competition, it's offered us an opportunity to, to kind of develop the mental capacity to to handle these situations and and to prepare for them and um, we've we spent so much time working with our mental performance coach over the past two years to, to be ready. McGregor and Team Canada lost their opening game 5-0 to USA and were supposed to play again on Sunday against the Russian Paralympic Committee but they were banned from the competition over Russia's invasion of Ukraine. It's been a you know a, a challenging time in the world and I, I think we certainly recognize that and um, and I, I think the one thing I'll add on that is that, you know, from our team's perspective, the one thing that we've stood true to is that we're, we're thinking of the people of Ukraine and we had the opportunity to actually um, be right beside them, um, gathering for the opening ceremony. And that was so, um, so awesome to see that they were able to, to make it here to the Paralympics. While McGregor and other athletes in the village are offering support to the competitors from Ukraine, he and his teammates have made every effort possible to support their fellow Canadians at the Games. Yeah, I think that's especially important, seeing that our, our family and friends aren't here. Um, we want to know that, that we're, or we want them to know that we're behind them and, and we're with them every step of the way. For City News, I'm Lindsay Dunn.